it just cut out. Yeah, I'm going to restart it here in one second. Okay, we should be live again. Oh no, that's unfortunate, but okay. We're live. We're, live. We're back. Hello, stream. Hello, stream. We're back again. Hi. Roll back. I'm gonna figure out what's going on with your OBS. Adrian, it's uh You know it's what? Not I think it's, it's an eye racing thing. Because <laughs> I was in a uh league race, another league race earlier today, endurance race, and um all of a sudden I racing started dropping about half of the field. There was fifty guys signed up, started dropping about half the field and my OBS took a dump then too as well at the same time seems like i races have been throwing uh, all kinds of issues here this week but we're back live anyways it's like craig tessiter had a bit of an issue here just mentioned chad sostowski is going to be looking around him looks like sostowski made the move oh tester hits those Yellow curbs and then Lamborghini did not like that. Oh, Adrian Adams piles into the back of him with nowhere to go. It's going to send Tester around into the wall. They'll both be uh, looking to use their fast repair. Ty Johnson still trying to hunt down Troy Banks up ahead. We go on board here with Ty and looking at Troy in his black Ferrari and down the front straight into turn one. This looks like Ty's close enough to get a run to make a move into turn one here yet. Chris Diaz thinking about looking to the inside of Tanner Creek Carney into turn one. The Audi with a little more legs into turn one holds Rari off at bay for now. About 16 minutes into this one, field getting spread out. Battles are few and far between right now. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit more like follow the leader as I see a bumper in the dirt at, <laughs> uh, what is that, turn four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we lost. We lost the stream again. We have to just stick with recording for tonight. But we're still live. We are recording. We are recording. It's on board with Kevin Mead. Oh, it's Kevin Mead that drove into the back of Craig Tester, the other Red Bull car. Thought it was uh, Adrian Adams at first, but Kevin missing the front bumper, which suggests it was he who caused the boop in the back. So when you see Adrian here, he's still sporting a front bumper on his Red Bull car. A Red Bull car doing <laughs> crimes? <laughs> Red Bull no. cars doing Red Bull things. Uh -huh. Sam Swan trying to put some pressure on Sosnowski. As Chad's up into 12th now. So what are we, 15 minutes? No, we're sorry for that. We're uh, almost 20 minutes into this one. Chad's went from P23 up to P13. Or sorry, P12 now, so... Gained 11 spots from where he fell to the back of the field. Working his way up. It's going to start getting a little harder as he gets towards the uh, pointy end of the field. Next up is Morgan Smith in another one of those baby blue and white Audis. We got three of those things out here tonight. It's the battle of the uh, blue and white Audis and the Red Bull Porsches.
Paul Langer still holding on to third spot with Zinn up ahead. Zinn opened up 1.3 now. Apollo had closed it to about six tenths. Starting to fall back. Zinn leading a train around from second place down to six. Ty Johnson, they're all separated by about two and a half seconds on track. It's like Paulo's car might be a little slow in the straight. He's got it uh, running a little more high down for his uh, setup than he might need to. See Adrian Adams trying to sneak underneath Roman Bykoff. Pepto meme car fighting back to the inside. Roman will into that spot now or he jumps the curbs. Manages to hold on to it. Looked a little sketchy at first, but he gathered it up. Adrian Adams gets a better run. Roman trying to pinch him off to the right. This allowed Parker Doom to open up a bit of a gap over Roman in seventh spot. While Roman and Adrian battle, Mark Miller closing in on the back of this battle. Tannic Rick Kearney trying to put some pressure on Christopher Diaz up ahead. And Diaz got around him. Kearney's trying to fight back, take that position back. It's for 15th spot overall. Haven't seen anybody come in and complete their pit stops yet. No. Oh, and we got um, the closest cars on track. Adrian Adams is closing up on the uh, Pepto Bismol Roman Bykov car. <laughs> Uh, and behind him as well, Mark Miller is closing up the gap, so it's a Porsche Cup race out there. <laughs> yeah. Sandwiched between uh, some Audis. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we got a fairly even split of Audis, BMWs, and Porsches in the top 10 with uh, the lone, <coughs> excuse me, the lone Ferrari of Troy Banks and the lone Lamborghini of Apollo Langer. Paulo and Troy trying to carry the weight for their brands in the top 10. Do you uh, prefer to be the rabbit or the uh, tortoise? Or not the tortoise. Was it the rabbit or the dog, I guess, uh, TPR? Do you rather be the guy chasing or the guy leading? Uh, chasing, I would say. I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like you control your own destiny when you're chasing. Right? Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I find when I'm chasing somebody, more focused looking at the windshield when I'm uh, leading around another car i'm spending too much you're time looking, looking at the beers yeah you're just looking behind you baby <laughs> exactly like you you know what you got to do to catch the person and if you don't catch them you have no one to blame <laughs> but you it's your fault exactly um, there's also the possibility that someone might do something stupid when they're chasing you um which is not great so being the dog or the rabbit or whatever it is in this dog racing illegal underground <laughs> ring of pet crime ring that you are referring to uh just kidding <laughs> just yeah you know what i said yeah. i said what i said so we just said ty johnson trying to make a move on troy bakes now troy's still holding them off these uh, these two have been battling since the very start it's allowing jordan muster to pull away though jordan uh, happily pulling 1.8 seconds away from troy banks now he's closed that gap on paulo up ahead Paulo's higher down force setup might be coming into uh, play here now. 
as he's dropping off the back of Zinn and into the clutches of Jordan Musser. Every time I pull my overlay off, uh, it bounces right back up to now. Roman Bykov is now under attack from Mark Miller. As you saw, Adrian Adams is now through. Uh, the meme machine might not be that fast tonight. Sag. Take a look at how Adrian got by him. Looks like it was a drag race down into turn one. Doesn't quite clear Roman into turn one, but oh, I guess the old crossover. And yeah, there it is, takes away that position. Roman now is going to try and hold off Mark Miller in the multicolored BMW. See if Mark's got anything to offer, offer the uh, Pepto meme car. It's a battle for ninth hmm. place. So this train of cars is headed off by uh, one of those baby, baby blue and white Audis. And the trailing car on the back is a baby blue and white Audi of uh, Morgan Smith. It's like WBM Racing is the name of their team, if I can read the uh, door properly. Got a three cars showing in the field here tonight. Although we don't give any team points, but battle amongst yourselves. Paulo now closed that gap back down on Zinn to about six tenths. Battle for second spot. That Lamborghini finding uh, its legs as the fuel burns off in it. Paulo really pushing now down to four tenths. It's coming hard on this lap for Zinn. Go on board here with Paulo. He's trying to run a tighter line through this final sector than Zinn. They get a couple S turns up ahead, then one final left hand sweeper before they head to the line. See if Paulo can get close enough to make a run down the front straight. Yeah, they're much tighter this side. It seems turn one is the only place to pass here. Interesting. Yeah, you gotta kind of, it looks like you really need to kind of set it up turn one to make the move into turn two to, <coughs> excuse me, to, to finalize it. Looks like the BMW got a little more legs than the Lambo in the straight. Paul not going to be able to make the move into turn one. Closes up under braking though, a little later and heavier on the brakes than Zinn. them to have a look at the battle between Troy Banks and Ty Johnson. Ty up on the back of Troy Banks rear bumper. Still trying to find a way around that all black Ferrari of Troy Banks. A battle between Sean Giroux and Christopher Diaz as well. That's for 14th position. They've both gotten around Tanner Crick Carney, who's dropped back to 16th spot. Christopher Diaz just ahead of Sean Giroux here in the pastel colored Ferrari. Up eight spots on the day. He's our biggest mover. Our biggest dropper was Chad Sosnowski, still down nine spots. He's got himself back up to 12th, but it's kind of stalled out there for the, the interim. It's three seconds back on Morgan Smith up ahead for 11th place. Paul is still holding steady at about four tenths behind Zinn as they head down the front straight. Again, to complete another lap. DJ out front now nine seconds up on this battle for second place. So he in 
other words, is gone. It's a little squirrely Xing out of that corner. It's gonna cost him a bit of time. Zin tries to stretch out ahead. Apollo goes deeper onto the brakes in almost every corner. Jordan Muster just sitting back in fourth place watching this all unfold up ahead. Ready to pounce if something happens between the two of them. 15 minute mark, looks like we're starting to see some drivers come into the pits. We've got a handful of our uh, bottom half of the field in using up their uh, pit stop. So we should see the leaders within the next lap or two. Troy a little wider line into the final corner. Ty Johnson looked to make a move. But it's tight on the back bumper of Troy Banks now. This might be his chance to make the move into turn one. There we go. Ty Johnson going to the outside. If he can hold that position, it'll give him the inside for turn two. There we go into turn one. Troy Banks pushes him out wide. Ty Johnson trying to hold on to the outside. Troy drifts wide. They touch. Ty Johnson. Had to back out of it. Time's starting to wind down on this battle. 13 minutes to go. 13 minutes to go, and it looks like the back half of the field is all elected to pit on lap 14. DJ is the first of the front runners to go on lap 15. And I don't... I think... DJ is definitely uh, an above average uh, racer because <laughs> he definitely waited until he could come out in free air. Um, I mean, I know some of the overlays do that. I've only ever had broadcast overlays tell me that, but he comes out onto the track all by himself and continues to put on the masterclass of how to go fast and leave the losers behind. <laughs> So, are you saying DJ right now is saying later losers? Yeah, yep, <laughs> that's exactly what he's saying. Absolutely, no doubt about it. DJ, our highest placed driver to pit, as you mentioned, that dropped him back to six spot. He is currently, oh, what do we got? About twenty nine seconds back of Zin in second place. So it's like Zin, Langer, and Musser are all coming into pit road now. So that's going to be the end of the window for our drivers. So you see, pick DJ up in the final set of S's, head into the final corner. Should easily come around and retake P1. I would like to place my Mike Harney bet <laughs> right now. You would? Uh, I'm picking DJ for first place. Oh. Going with the house money, eh? As we're waiting, Zin staying out of the this pit. This is going to be a now. great battle out of the pits, and it looks like. Did Zin just jump Paulo? Oh, wait, no. I Correction. <laughs> Paulo was always <laughs> behind Zin. Excuse my shenanigans. Yeah, it looks like Sorry. Jordan Musser jumped Paulo, though. Paulo with a three second longer pit stop than Zin, and two seconds longer than. Jordan Musser, so it's going to drop him back to fourth spot down two positions from where he started. With just over 11 minutes to go, he's got an uphill battle to try and get back up to that battle for P2 that he had heading into the pits. Also looks like Ty Johnson has leapfrog Troy Banks. Not sure what happened to Troy Banks, but he is dropped out of this one. 
It's going to give Ty Johnson fifth place. See if I can find if something happened there. So you see the move by Ty Johnson around Troy Banks. Heading into turn one. Looks like he's finally going to get the stick this time. Troy fought back again. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened if Troy it must have just been a connection issue, but or maybe he had to go, but either way, he's gone. Ty Johnson now in fifth on his lonesome. So our closest battle right now, Chad Sostowski, he's up into ninth spot. He's got Mark Miller just ahead of him. That would be for eighth position on track. That's our closest battle right now, Sosnowski and Miller. Sosnowski tucked up right onto the back bumper of the road. See that Porsche not quite enough top speed to make the move into turn one, or is he? It's like Miller's going to give it to him. He's going to move Sosnowski up into seventh. Mark Miller's going to drop back to... Or sorry, Sosnowski up into 8th. Mark Miller's going to drop back to ninth. Next up, Roman Baikoff in the Pepto machine. So it's uh, Jordan Musser's turn now to uh, try and fend off Paul. As Paul is quickly caught up to the back of Jordan's BMW. While they battle, though, that's allowed Zinn to open up two seconds over the two of them. I should have handicapped your uh, DJ bet. Should have said he had to win by 15 seconds or something. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mm, yeah, he's 10 Paulo's seconds fighting up. hard to get that second uh, spot. Well, yeah, he might not pull that kind of time on Brian. Brian is pulling away from Jordan and Paulo now. If it was a three car battle, definitely a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paulo tries for a late dive into turn one. Buster covers him off. Paulo trying to find any which way he can to make the move. Touches the curbing. That's going to get the car unsettled a little bit. He has to back off and gather it up. Farther back, we get a battle between Tyler Reeb and Brian Ewald. Be all over after that. If you touch a curb, the the curbs at this track are sav I, like they're they're insane. The inside curbs and the sausage curbs, um, as they should be. So I don't know. Uh, are the new tracks? Do they come with the new fancy 3D curbs? Uh, yeah, all the new tracks okay. come with the 3D curbs. So okay. This one has it uh, because it came last season. And then Portimao and Misano this season have it. And then they gave it to Sebring, I think, uh, a season or two ago. So I believe those are the four tracks with the 3D curbs. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this to you the other day, if you were in the chat. See me that we had going on, but I found out that the tracks with 3D curbs, if you're driving your tires on the 3D curbs, those uh, curbings will actually heat up the tires, much like they do in real life. So ideally, you want to kind of straddle the curbing uh, where you can. Here's your inside fact for the day. Uh don't you tell me what to straddle <laughs> but <laughs> curbs heat up your tires huh yeah huh. yeah the 3d curbs they will heat up your tires is the uh well they essentially have like a texture to them right 
if you look at them, they're kind of like a sharp point uh, on them and it'll heat up the tire. This is from a 9.5K Alien I've got this uh, information from. Oh, you didn't have to validate yourself. Any <laughs> insider information you tell me I know is the gospel and I will believe it. Uh, I'm just like, if you want to know, I'm letting the fan base news, know how, uh, how it's uh, been verified. <laughs> yeah. I cite, I cite if my you sources. You want to know something, you ask Rob, Cam <laughs> you ask Rob Campbell something. Paulo back fighting on the back of Jordan Mustery, and he's definitely got uh, more speed than Jordan because even when he has a uh, a bit of an oh my moment, he's able to catch back up to the back of Mustery. He just can't quite find a way around. Zinn just ahead of him, though, loving seeing this in his mirrors. He's now 1.5 seconds up on them, although uh, they've closed that gap up on Zinn while they've been battling. He had it over two seconds a lap or two ago. I think they backed off just a smidge as the battle for 19th heats up. Uh, yeah, I think both Jordan and Paula realize what were happening and they have decided to maybe cool it for a second. <laughs> At least leave it to the last lap, you know? They're trying for teamwork? I don't know. Paula might do something right here. I don't know. It's like this. Oh, here he goes. Late move into there. turn one. See if he can make it stick. He's trying. Jordan will have the Gotta inside line. The They're going to lose another second to, to Zinn doing this. Looks like Paulo might have made it stick. Oh, he gets a little loose head out. They touch. Jordan's going to collect up the car. Looks like Paulo's made yeah. it stick. Zinn now, that allowed him to open another half second over them yeah so yeah. Now, about two I laps think to there's go there's no chance uh, <laughs> now to catch them now with two laps to go you fight for the last step on the podium yeah paul is currently holding that spot we'll see if jordan has anything to offer back for him check back in in that battle for 19th there's craig brockway leading around tyler reeb with jason estevez and brian ewald in tow Guys are in a bit of a train, but nobody's really close enough to make a move. It's like Sam Swan holding off Kevin Mead right now. It's a battle for 11th place. A couple Porsches fighting hard with each other. It's like something happened to Apollo. Jordan Musser gets back around. Take a look at what happened there. I'm going to suspect Paulo either got up on the curbs or got a little loose and did Lambo Jordan, things. Jordan got a run into a corner. I don't know if Paulo let him by or if that was a late Yeah, it looks break. like Paulo went wide. Had to back off <laughs> and Jordan said thank you very much. Huh? Guess Paul didn't want it tonight. That's fine. <laughs> Let's see who else we got battling out there. Uh, so we got Mark Miller hmm. trying to pressure Roman Bike off for eighth spot. Yeah, and we got Tyler. Oh, no, he's going through lap traffic. I was just saying, what is going on with that? Check in with our leader, DJ. He's heading across the front straight. Uh, oh, sorry, that's not the front straight. I got mixed up where I was on track. He's midway through the uh, lap here. Head into the Paolo's final left-hand sweeper. He'll be starting the last lap here shortly. Follow back on the back of uh, Jordan Musser again. Yeah, and Mark Miller is right behind Roman Baikoff again. As far as battles go, other than the battle for now 17th, but no one's, someone's got to make a move. You either want it or you don't. 
you know? <laughs> it's the last right? lap, last chance. Yeah, yeah you, you want it or you don't. Comes in, Musser oh. and Langer down the front street. They're starting As, their final uh, lap. Bernie waving the white flag hmm. out there. It's, it looks like Brian Ewell got right up onto Jason uh, Estevez, but now he's back off again. And Apollo in the turn two, still right behind Jordan. Uh, Jordan, I think, is mirror watching now. I don't know. <laughs> like, that gap closed way up. Oh, and they both touched the dirt right there. They went out and touched that the Lando. grass, like we told them. Get maybe from behind the, your computer and go touch the grass. <laughs> maybe the cars aren't balanced uh, as well. The, the Oh, it could be set up, too. That BMW just seems like a rocket ship in a straight line. Like, uh... Oh. Uh. As an owner of a BMW, you should know they don't like to turn. <laughs> uh, you very much know that's not true. <laughs> don't start. <laughs> You're trying to lead me down a path, and I'm not going to follow. I'm not going to take the bait. <laughs> no? I nope. thought for sure you'd go for it. Is there a leader heading no. into the final corner? DJ, going to come around and take the checkered flag for round seven at uh, Magello. I'd like to place my bet. Brian's in for second place. <laughs> there you go, DJ across the line. So we pick up Zinn heading into the final corner now. He's 1.5 seconds over Jordan Muster. Jordan got Paulo on the back. Paulo trying to make a move around the outside. Paulo with the, the full crossover. send. He oh, doesn't have the top speed have. though. He's not going to work. <laughs> It's not gonna work. Musser holds him off to take final spot on the podium. He didn't want it. That's <laughs> yeah. He really didn't want it. That's, it'd be like, that does not say. Oh yes, it does say Magello. I was gonna say that's a circuit, but yes, it does say Magello. Magello. Work. Great race, Roman. Yep, Parker Doom trying the best he can, trying to chase down Sean Giroux yeah. in the final corner. It's a battle for 13th yeah. spot. Looks like Sean's going to be able to hold on to that uh, with yeah, four tenths gap. Parker gets a little loose in the final corner. Damn thing here. Just to get this battle here between Estevez, Ewalt, and Brockway. They're now heading into the final corner. Looks like Ewalt not close enough to make a move on Estevez, but Craig Brockway not too far back. Ewalt, if he gets a little loose in the final corner, looks like he's going to hold on to it. As that train of cars led by Tyler Reed, Antenna Craig Carney heads to the line. That'll do it. That is all of our drivers across the line for round seven at Magello. Moo Jello or Magello. We need uh, an Italian in here to give us the pronunciation. Either way, let's take a look at the final results. So we got, oh, I one page too far. There we go. DJ brings it home as the winner. Brian's in in second spot. Jordan Musser rounds out the podium positions. Paul Langer couldn't quite make it back to the final step of the podium. He comes home fourth. Ty Johnson in fifth. Adrian Adams in sixth. Chad Sosnowski seventh. Recovers back from his uh, early lap spin or early race spin. Mark Miller in eighth. Roan Bykoff ninth. Morgan Smith rounds out the top 10 and then we go to Kevin Mead in 11th Christopher Diaz in 12th Sean Giroux 13th Parker Doom 14th Sam Swan in 15th Tyler Reby in 16th Tana Crick Kearney in 17th Jason Estevez in 19th uh, Greg Brockway in 20th and then we've got Dylan Furlong Troy Banks and Craig Tester did not see the 
finish line. Better luck next time. Okay. I don't think we had a whole lot of uh, carnage this week. As far as chaos, there he goes. But we'll take a quick look at what we found. It's like first up is Sosnowski. We had a look at that earlier, but we'll just take another quick peek. If I remember correctly, we just see him barely boop the back of Paul Langer's car ahead, and it's enough to send the uh, Porsche sliding off to the right. Tyler Reeb took a bit of a spill off track as well. Gets it gathered up there, but unfortunately not too far down the road. He has this incident here. In the back of the BMW just says, ah, uh, no thanks. Around it goes. Craig Tester with a spill in the police, policia car. I think he's going to do a little bit of curb hopping. As Tyler mentioned, the curbs here are vicious. And then Kevin Mead, unfortunately, with nowhere to go, gets into the back of him there. Let's take a look at the chase cam for Kevin, see what he had uh, to look at up ahead. See the Lambo getting squirrely up ahead. Bam! Red Bull cars doing Red Bull things. Chase Nestevez, I think this might have been just trying to avoid Craig Tester, but we'll have a look. Yep, yeah, had uh, evasive maneuvers through the lawn. Groundskeeping crew won't be impressed with that. So we'd have to Brian Ewalt here in the multicolored Lambo. Oh. Not quite enough downforce on the back end of that Lambo to hold through that fast right-hand sweeper. So he gets it backed off track. Will he safely rejoin? He does. Slow clap for the rejoin. Sosnowski have uh, another off track here. Oh, he hit that curb. Manages to collect it up without going into the wall. Nice save. Could have been much worse than what it was. Morgan Smith had a crash. Let's see what happened to this. Audi, one of the WBM racing machines. Same spot where we saw Brian Ewalt spin his Lambo moment, moments ago. Sister cars, the Audi and the Lambo, doing similar things. And the sister car to the one we just saw. Tanner Crick Carney this time. Same corner. Is it going to be the same issue? Nope, he's just going to understeer off into the kitty litter. Keeps it off the wall. Sam Swan, one of the Porsches. We didn't see a whole lot happen to the Porsches other than Sosnowski with that early uh, cold tire spin. Yeah, so, we were trying to focus on the battles, but uh, as battles don't happen, I, there was a <laughs> lot of drivers we didn't mention tonight, and we apologize for that. Uh, get yourself in some battles next time. Yeah, we try to be better than that. What do you think we are, race bot? Like, <laughs> I think we showed most of the field. Yeah. The Pepto machine keeps it on the straight and narrow after a little trip to the kitty litter, and that's it. So overall, as far as carnage, not a whole lot. A couple, uh, couple little boops, but uh, overall, self-spins and tire drops. That's what we like to see. Clean racing. 
So that should do it, TPR, for this week at Magello. I'm trying to think of where the race so. is next week. Let's, uh, I can tell you that right now. Here. You want to take a guess? Uh, I'm it trying is to think. at I think following the IMSA schedule. One of so the best tracks. One of the best tracks in the game. I'm trying to remember where we're going. I think it's Spa. Is it Spa next? Yes, week? sir. It sure is. I, I can't uh, wait. Hopefully, uh, the low participation this week because it's a new track. Because people are wusses and they refuse <laughs> to race on a new track. I think Spa uh, will be a good one. It generally has a very high turnout. It's yeah. a track that I am admittedly terrible at, so I need to put in some practice next week for Spa for uh, for our race. But we'll be back next Sunday for. Circuit de Spa Francochamp in Belgium. The um, second best of the two tracks in Belgium. Don't at me. I said it. I prefer Zolder. Shut up. We're done with the stream. <laughs> Cancel the stream right now. Oh, it's already off. Hey, bye. Turn this off right now. Bye. Later. Say goodbye.